Hi, for this video what we're going to do is we're going to use the formula to find the number of elements. Um, the formula, remember, is read as the number in set A or B is equal to the number just in A plus the number just in B minus the number that is in both. Um, you can use this formula to find any one of these. Um, I could find the number that are in A or B. I could find the number just in A. I could find the number just in B. Or I can find um, the number that is both in A and B. So what we have here, customers at a local restaurant were surveyed. The results were that 30 ordered a hamburger or french fries. So this right here would be the first part, the in A or B. So if you want to, you could set it up that A is going to represent hamburger and B represent french fries because that's what we are talking about. So I'm just going to start writing down the important information as we find it in the problem. There's many ways that you could do this, um, but I'm going to establish that the number in A or B is equal to 30. Okay, so then if we continue reading, let's find out what other information we can find in here. Um, it tells us that 21 ordered just french fries. Okay, so remember that we're going to use B to represent our french fries, so we can say that the number in B is 21. So if we continue reading, it says that 18 purchased both a hamburger and french fries. So that tells us that we have in A and B is equal to 18. And now it's going to ask how many ordered just a hamburger. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to use the rule. I'm going to go ahead and write the formula down again since it's off of my screen now. So we would say that the number in A or B is equal to the number in A plus the number in B minus the number in both A and B. So now all we have to do is plug in these numbers. So we would replace this with 30. The number in A, we don't know. That's what we're trying to find. The number in B is 21, and the number in both is 18. So with this, you could solve for A first. Um, it's probably easier for most of you to work with the numbers, so I'm going to just go ahead and work with the numbers. If we simplify this, 21 minus 18 gives me um, 3. I don't know why I wrote equals. And if I were to solve this, and it should be positive 3, and then if I were to solve this, I would just subtract, subtract 3 from both sides. And so we can say that the number in A is 27. So we can say that 27 people ordered a hamburger. So just a recap of finding the number of elements. Um, remember that this formula can be used to find any single one of them. So we can say that um, the number in A or B is equal to the number of A plus the number of B minus the number in both. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any um, additional topics that you would like me to cover, please let me know. Um, as always, thanks for watching.